Hi, I'm Mark Davis from Exidy Australia. Today I'd like to talk about a new tool uh, that we've introduced into our range and it's called the self-adjusting uh, toolbox. So this particular tool uh, is required uh, to be used when fitting a self-adjusting clutch but also can be used when fitting a conventional clutch system. So very brief, very simple uh, explanation or today. So what we'll do is uh, we've simulated the flywheel here uh, pretend, let's pretend that it's uh, attached to a crankshaft. We'll place our uh, clutch disc. Firstly, uh, introduce our alignment tool and place our clutch disc over the tool in the correct orientation. We'll take our self-adjusting clutch cover assembly, fit that uh, over the dowel pins. Okay, so now we're ready to start using the tool. We select the three pins with the correct thread, fit the pins to the flywheel, the shorter end towards the flywheel, just until the pin touches the cover pressing. Then we'll take our Spider. We'll place that on the top there. We'll set our handle into position. Okay, and then we'll take the nuts and we'll just screw the nuts down until they make contact with the spider. Okay, so now we're ready to start talking down the diaphragm. So we just start to move our handle like this. Right. Now the purpose of this tool is to evenly torque down the cover pressing so that we don't, or we eliminate any potential for damaging the clutch on fitment. So we keep depressing the diaphragm spring until the cover assembly makes contact with the flywheel. Okay, so we're now at a point where the cover pressing is touching the uh, flywheel and we can fit our cover assembly to flywheel bolts. Okay, I'm just using my uh, hands here for this demonstration, but you would need to use a torque wrench to torque these bolts to the appropriate uh, vehicle manufacturer's specification. Okay, so we've got three bolts in place. Now, basically, we'll follow the reverse of that procedure. So, we back the spider off, remove the pins, And then we fit the remaining three bolts. We can remove our aligning tool, which is a bit tight in there, which is good. Okay, remove the tool. And there we have it, the self-adjusting clutch assembled correctly onto the dual mass flywheel.